Hello and welcome viewers of AVG News. My name is Mkolisi Nube. Uh, I'm here this time to talk about the current situation uh, regarding moving from the Zimbabwe exemption permits to any other South African permit. I hope most of you already know that the majority of Zimbabweans that have been using the Zimbabwe exemption permit for the past 11 to 12 years do not qualify to move to any mainstream South African permit because of the stringent qualification criteria uh, as laid out in the South African Immigration Act. Uh, and this is uh, manifest in the number of rejections uh, that some of you say they've gone through, which shows that the majority of those that were on the ZEP, because they were given these kind of permits, as a special dispensation uh, based on their lack of qualification for any rem uh, for any available South African permit. So what uh, we bring you today is not a way of circumnavigating the processes that are there, but uh, a way uh, of trying to find out uh, the position where people stand right now in as far as moving back to Zimbabwe is concerned. So before I go ahead without our, with what I exactly have, I would like to invite you to subscribe to this channel, to like this video and share it. So most of you may have already heard that the Zimbabwean government says it is ready to welcome Zimbabweans uh, who are on the ZEP at the expiry of their permits by the end of this year, which is 31 December 2022. But now what we have realized is that the government is just paying lip service to this because the economy is still uh, where we left it or it's even worse than where we left it. But uh, there is an organization uh, of people, Zimbabweans, who have decided that they want to go back home, but they don't want to just go back there and laze around. They want to create opportunities for themselves and apparently they have spoken to the government of the day and they have been promised that if uh, Zimbabweans in the diaspora can organize themselves uh, into a group uh, and go back there as investors this time, not just as, re as returning citizens, then there is a way that they can be assisted to venture into different types of business, uh, this is uh, based on the recognition uh, of the skills that Zimbabweans that are here have and the experiences for those uh, that do not have the skills. We are talking here about people who are in the hotel industry, we are talking about people who are in the uh, hospitality industry, people who are in the tourism sector, people who are doing different kinds of jobs, some are in engineering, some are in construction, but without having the necessary qualifications, but with the necessary experience. So these people are saying that uh, before they can approach the government, they need a database uh, of Zimbabweans and what skills they have so that we become a block or rather they become a block and present this to the government. They've been offered land uh, on which uh, to till or do horticultural uh, projects. They've been offered uh, a, a number of other options and opportunities that they can venture in. So what you need to do is via uh, our WhatsApp number 073-962-3075 073-962-3075 send us uh, the type uh, of job that you are doing here or that you have experience in here even if you do not have qualifications in that particular job but as long as you have the experience uh, and the zeal to continue working there if you have the qualifications fine but what you do is you send us your name full name you send us uh, the type of uh, uh, business that you are doing or uh, the the field that you are working in in which you have experience and what you'll be interested in doing once you get to Zimbabwe and the level of experience or qualification that we have and then we'll forward this uh, to these people and we will have uh, some time during the course of this week uh, an interview with one of them the one who represents them or who leads them a lady and then 
She will explain to you exactly what it is that they've been offered and what it is that they are looking forward to, but they need to have this database as soon as possible. So please uh, send us your name, your full name, send us your contact details, the field that you are in, the level of experience or qualification that you have, and the field that you want to venture in once you get back to Zimbabwe. Thank you very much. Please subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it so that we gather as much uh, database as possible in as far as Zimbabweans who want to return back home are concerned. Even if you don't want to return at this particular moment, you may want to invest in this kind of, uh, of in these kind of ventures because the idea is to move away from the politics and get into uh, the economy because most of us are here be not because there is anything which has kept us here but because there is no fallback position when we go back to Zimbabwe. We don't know what we are going there to do because we have been shut out of the Zimbabwean economy for more than 20 years, for more than 30 years, for more than 40 years, some for more than 10 years and just going back there like a tree that has been uprooted from one area to another will not uh, cut it for most people. So this is a way of saying let's kickstart our way uh, our, 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 our way back uh, into life. It doesn't matter if you're only in South Africa, uh, that you are in South Africa. You may be anywhere else outside even South Africa, but for as long as you want to be part of, the, of this venture, you are welcome. And let me state it to you again that there is no monetary a requirement from you. What is just needed from you is your skill and the level of qualification that you have or the level of experience that you have and the zeal that you have. So thank you very much. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it.